I think one of the things that makes a, um, a trauma center like ours unique is its uh, readiness. 365 days of the year, we're open to receive you know, people who are hurt in all kinds of incidents, whether it be car accidents or uh, the recent tornado outbreak or uh, people who are doing home repairs and just happen to fall off of, the, of their, their roof. They don't plan for those emergencies, but we do. In, in certain incidents where uh, we have to, you know, uh, flex up our, our care plan, uh, we have several physicians who are already there at the hospital, uh, both surgeons, emergency room doctors, and other specialists. Uh, those people have the ability to see more than one patient, you know, simultaneously, particularly when you add in uh, all the nurses and the uh, uh, physician extenders that participate in our healthcare team. It's a true multidisciplinary team. So we can put five doctors focusing on two patients who happen to come in, or we can put five doctors focusing on 10 or 15 patients very quickly uh, and determining what they need. Not everyone needs to go right to the operating room, but everyone needs some sort of care. The tornadoes, for instance, we took care of about uh, 25 or 26 patients to the trauma service alone. Now there were dozens others who were seen by our emergency department and were okay to let go home. Uh, but we were very quickly able to triage and see all these people and separate them into two groups. That group that needs to stay and needs more urgent care and that group who maybe needs some things patched up, maybe can see their doctor next week, maybe they have a cut that needs to, uh, to be sutured and can go home. And, and that's really the whole advantage of the way we do triage is we can separate the really bad hurt from the just a little bit hurt from the not hurt too bad very quickly and then focus our efforts where they need to be focused. I think the quality of the staff uh, that we have that I get to work with every day is second to none. A lot of people have the perception that because it's a teaching hospital that everyone there is in some kind of a student or learning role and that's not true, particularly of the nursing staff and, and the other uh, hospital staff that we have. This is these people's jobs and we have some very senior people who have been there for 10, 15, and 20 years. In fact, I would argue because it's a teaching hospital, they've chosen to be there to pass on their experience and knowledge to the next generation of healthcare providers. Uh, it strikes me that there are a lot of choices in our city for people in healthcare to choose to work at. And, uh, and these people choose to be here knowing that their day may change in an instant. And instead of having, you know, four patients they're taking care of, it could all of a sudden be six or eight because some injury occurred. Trent's a unique individual. Uh, I'm really proud of uh, not only his spirit uh, for getting better, uh, but his commitment to show others that you can recover from a terrible accident that was not his fault, that life goes on, and that it's not going to slow him down a bit. What a real testimony to other people who have had unfortunate things happen to them. Bad things happen to good people all the time. It's life. It's the circumstances that, that we all deal with. It's how you respond to those events that defines you as an individual. And Trent's clearly proven he's not only a survivor, he's an encourager and a forward mover. Uh, he's now, you know, started his own nonprofit where he's trying to help other people, you know, who've had amputations like his. I mean, what a true testimony to, you know, a patient who took a bad situation and turned it around into what has really been great for so many of us to get to know him and the people that he will now get to know.